I think Alabama has the edge because Nick Saban and, and the Alabama program have done it basically six times over the past, what, 10, 12 seasons? Six national championships in Tuscaloosa. All he does is reload when he loses top flight talent to the NFL. Not just players, Scotty. It's assistant coaches as well. Uh, Bill O'Brien, you look at Sarkeesian was there, Lane Kiffin, uh, Brian Dable, the list goes on and on. Mike, Sl- Mike Loxley and Mario Cristobal were assistant coaches for the Alabama. Alabama Crimson Tide and have moved on and the program hasn't missed a beat. So Bryce Young, Heisman Trophy winner, he comes back. They have some big play, you know, talent that uh, that comes there. They have Jermaine Burton that transfers from the Georgia program. Will Anderson, a Heisman Trophy candidate as well on the defensive side of the ball with Jordan Battle. So I have to give the edge to Alabama. Georgia will be there. Clearly, they're the best team in the East. But when you lose 15 players to the NFL and more importantly, five in the first round, that's a lot to ask from a program that hasn't won a national championship or now won their first in the last 41 years. So we have to see if they can maintain that consistency. I don't think 10 and 12, uh, 2 is out of the realm of possibility, but expecting this team to just regroup and be there with Alabama, I just don't see it in year number two uh, after a national championship.